Oh, what shall I do? I'm in trouble. And soon father will be home. Oh, what shall I do? I can hear his footsteps already. Quick, I should hide in my room before he sees me. No one. Where is that good for nothing made of mine? Pilfering my good wine, I'm sure of it. I can't turn my back or things go missing in this place. And everything is so terribly expensive these days. Oh why? Why? Ye gods, why are you tormenting me so? I, who have always been an exemplary citizen. Ah, sis, it's good to be back home again. Oh brother, I'm so happy you're back. What? What is it sis? I know that look of yours. Well, it's just, we need to have a talk. A talk? And what is it we're having right now? I mean a proper talk. Oh, okay, and what should we talk about? Well, it's just, you see, I've been thinking, perhaps you should, I mean, it would be in everybody's best interest. Oh come on, out with it, woman. Isn't it high time you got married, Chris? Mary. Me. And I know exactly the girl for you. A girl. Yes, Indra. You know, Mark the Miser's daughter. That stingy mean old bastard who would put Ebenezer Scrooge to shame. Exactly. He must be as rich as the sea is deep. And you know what? There's a rumor in the village about a pot of gold that's hidden in his garden. So what? If you marry his daughter, he'll have to give her the gold as a dowry. But she see, girl. And a very pretty one. Her late mother was Indian. Well, hello there, cutie. Isn't Indra with you? Indra. Nah, she's just someone I met at the party. She doesn't mean anything to me. It looked as if there was a whole lot more going on between you. Nah, she means nothing to me, I assure you. Now you, Jessica. It's Jessica, isn't it? Jennifer. Well, Jennifer, how about I buy you a drink at Luigi's? <laughs> oh no. Father mustn't see me like this. <laughs>